Croeso, welcome to module one of Welsh for Beginners. In this module, we will learn about conversation starters in Welsh. So let's start. Module one is broken down into five short lessons. So in module one, I will teach you about introductions and greetings, giving your name and asking others, saying where you're from and where you live, asking for and giving information about another person and counting from 1 to 20. So let's begin. Now, if we want to say good morning in Welsh, we say bore da. If we want to say good afternoon, we say prynhawn da. If we want to say good evening, we say noswaith da. And for good night, we say nos da. So I'll say those again. Bore da, prynhawn da, noswaith da, nos da. And again, bore da, prynhawn da, noswaith da, nos da. Notice that the Welsh word for good is da, but when we say good evening, we have to say noswaith da not noswaith da. This is because noswaith is a feminine noun, not a masculine noun, so it behaves in a different way. But don't worry about this now though, just learn the greetings as they are and we look at the reason for this at a later stage. Now, which greeting would you use at these times? Would you use bore da, prynhawn da, noswaith da or nos da? You can pause the video here if you wish, just to give yourself more thinking time. I'll then show you the answers. So, here we go. Here are the answers. Number one, 8am, you'd say bore da. If it's 7pm, you'd say noswaith da. If it's 2.30pm, you'd say prynhawn da. If it's 11 at night, you would say nos da. If it's 8.30pm, you'd probably say noswaith da, because you're unlikely to go to bed at that time. And then 10am in the morning would be bore da. So these are the greetings that you would use. So the word for greeting in Welsh is cyfarchiad. And if I'm asking what greeting, I'd say pa gyfarchiad. And now, what about these one? Once, try these next. You can pause the video if you wish. So, 9.30 a.m., so at that time I'd say bore da. At 12.05 p.m., after lunch, I'd say prynhawn da. At 4.30 p.m., I would say prynhawn da. At 10 at night, I would say nos da. At 6.30, in the evening, I'd say noswaitha, and at 5am, I would say boreda. Let's now move on to look at the different ways we have in Welsh of saying goodbye. So, you can say hoil, hoil, which means goodbye, or you can say hoil vaur, which means big goodbye. Uh, you look so here, da bochi, da bochi, da bochi which is used in formal contexts. Now, a literal translation of da bochi might be good be you. Um, you don't hear it that often nowadays. It's much more common to hear hoil or hoil vaur. You'll also hear ta-ta or ta-ra. So, do you remember the different ways of saying goodbye? Hoil, hoil vaur, da bochi. Let's now look at how we can ask someone how they are feeling or how are you. So there are two main ways of asking this in Welsh. You can either say sit my or you can say sit a chi. I'll say those again. Sit my or sit a chi. You would use sit my with anyone and everyone, whether you know them well or not. What I mean by this is that you could say to your boss or to your best friend. On the other hand, you would only use sit a chi 
in a formal context. So with your boss or, or with someone you don't know well, but not with your best friend. If you did, actually, they would probably be a little put off. So sit my for friends and family, people you know well, and sit to he to people you don't know that well. I also need to point out to you that you will hear variations of the way sit my, which is standard Welsh, is pronounced, depending on where exactly you are in Wales. In North Wales, you'll hear simai, simai, and in South Wales, you'll hear shumai, shumai. So adding the Welsh hello at the beginning, which is hello, will produce a nice friendly greeting like hi there that you can say to anyone in both formal and informal situations. If you use this greeting, you're not necessarily expecting an answer to how someone is feeling. The person you are speaking to will most likely just repeat that same greeting back to you. So if you say hello Shumai, you'll like to hear that back. Let's look at how you would answer someone if they asked you how you're feeling. So, if you're feeling very well, you'd say da yawn. Da yawn. If you're feeling well, you'd say yawn. Yawn. If you're feeling terrible, you'd say of nadoi. Of nadoi. If you're just okay or so so, you'd say go leu, go leu. You can also say gwyddol, gwyddol. If you're tired, you can say wedi blino, wedi blino. I'll go through those again. Da iawn, iawn. Ofnadwy. Go leu, gwyddol, wedi blino. Now it's your turn. How would you say these expressions in Welsh? You may pause the video here to give yourself enough time to guess correctly. Or, if you're still not sure how to pronounce these expressions correctly, go back and study the answers to sit my or sit a chi again. Alternatively, if you are confident that you can get them right, keep playing, try and guess correctly, and I will give you the answers. So, very well is da yawn. Well is yawn. Terrible is of nadoi. So so is goleu gwyddol. And tired is wedi blino. And the magic word to remember is diolch. So if you want to say very well, thank you, you'd say da yawn diolch. If you want to say I'm well, thank you. You'd say, Jan Dioch. One additional but important point to mention here is that when you say thank you for something in a shop, for instance, expect to hear Kreuso back. Kreuso just means you're welcome. You'll also see it on signs when you went to Wales. Kreuso i Gymru, or welcome to Wales. Well done, da iawn, on completing lesson one of module one. Now, before rushing on to lesson two, please go through lesson one again. Make sure that you remember all the expressions, then use the checklist provided to tick off what you know. When you are confident that you can remember and pronounce the expressions that we went through correctly, move on to lesson two. Da iawn a hwyl fawr.